So we talked about what a guest post is, how to find them, how to rate them. Now let's talk about how to contact them and how to do the outreach. So first things first, we wanna make sure that the guest posting can response is set up. Um, I covered this in the previous module about how to set up canned responses. You just wanna make sure that you maybe want to change it a little bit per client. I mean, you know, if you're doing marketing outreach versus mommy blogger outreach versus, I don't know, porn outreach, whatever you're doing outreach for, you're going to want to tailor the pitch to make it a little bit more relevant to that niche. So just make sure that the pitch is set up right and just make sure that it's something you're comfortable with sending over and over and over again. So you're going to start by sending seven to nine outreach emails to the top priorities. And again, the top priorities are set by the tags that we talked about in the previous video. And now we wanna stagger the outreach emails because we don't wanna get overloaded with responses. If you send 50 outreach emails in a day and you get 22 responses, it's gonna be really, really hard to deliver outlines and then drafts for all of those. And what's really gonna end up happening is you're gonna burn those bridges because you're not gonna be answering them in a timely response. So we wanna start by sending seven to nine outreach emails on day one and then just gauge by how many responses that you get. If you get a lot of responses, then the next time we send emails, you might only wanna send three or four. If you're not getting a lot of responses, then the next time we send emails, you might wanna send 15 to 18. So you just wanna make sure you stagger the emails and make sure that you're getting the right amount of responses and you're able to manage them as they come in because again, we do not have a lot of opportunities, so we do not wanna waste any of them. So if, if and when they respond, we need to manage the inbox, and this is really where it gets tricky. When I say manage the inbox, we wanna make sure that we're responding, them to, responding to them in a timely fashion. We're not letting uh, you know, requests for drafts go for two weeks without answering them. We wanna make sure that, you know, and again, this is really why the outreach manager should be somebody that's local to the US, because it's gotta be somebody that can not only send a templated email, but then go back and forth and really negotiate that value. I'm talking about sending a pitch, sending a draft, um, you know, going back and forth about link placement, stuff like that. I um, mean, we wanna make sure that we're recording progress in the status tab of the workbook. Now, in the next couple of videos, I'm really gonna get into in depth about, you know, the back and forth, forth process for guest posting and the uh, pitching of the drafts and how to come up with content ideas for verticals that you're not really comfortable with. But let me just go ahead and show you live how to do this really quickly because it's very straightforward and I don't want to kill you guys here with boredom, but I want to make sure that I'm being very, very thorough with these videos. So again, so let's say we built out a list of, you know, 150 guest post opportunities. The link prospector is continuously going down and finding opportunities. Now it's up to the outreach manager to go in. All you're going to do, you're going to come in here, you're going to copy the email, you're going to come over to the email, paste it in, and this is the for whatever email you're doing outreach for. This is the one that we do outreach for for our coupon site. And you're just going to come over, and you're going to insert the draft, insert the current response. And you're just going to go through and make sure that it's formatted properly. So always, always, always try and personalize it. So this is to info. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll even go back to the contact us site. Um, I've actually got it here, become a contributor. Let's see if we can find a name on here because it's really, really important that we find out a name. So let's see, so they don't have any names here, so we're just gonna have to go ahead and just leave this one as generic and just say, hey guys, it's kind of bland, but uh, hey guys is better than nothing. So it just says, hey guys, my name is Kate Snow, I'm a freelance writer based out of Miami. I was reading one of your articles when I noticed you accept guest posts. If you still do, please let me know. I'd love to put together a draft for your review. Thanks, email signature. And again, I covered the whole formatting of the emails in the, in the previous, um, in the previous module, so I don't want to kill that here. And then all you're going to do is click send. I'm not going to send this actual one. You're going to come over. You're going to mark this as status as email sent. What's today's date? Email sent uh, 11 slash 8. And then you're just going to go down. And you're going to knock down, you know, seven to nine more, however many that are dictated really by the project plan. Um, you know, however many dictated to you as the outreach manager, you're just going to send that many emails. And then you're just going to wait until they respond. And once they do respond, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to respond, how to follow up, and how to really send pitches um, and get drafts written and really just close the loop on the guest posting process.